Okay, so, um, we are going to watch the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, um, eyeshadow palette. I thought about it, and I thought, why not? You know, I have so many eyeshadow palettes that I probably, <laughs> just a lot, it's a lot. Okay, you know, I have so many eyeshadow palettes that I probably, <laughs> a lot. Okay, so I want to swatch it two different ways. I'm going to swatch it once with my finger and then once with my brush. This is a BoxyCharm brush. Um, if you got the brushes and you know which one this is, if not, they don't have names. So, yeah. I just, I like their brushes. They're so soft. Um, Charlie Bucket. Ooh. I don't know if you can see that. It's so pretty. Snodsberry. Augustus Galoop. Mike TV. That one kind of came off kind of chunky. I don't know if it was just a bad swatch. It's not chunky. It's a matte. <laughs> so it shouldn't have come off. Willy Wonka. Now this color I'm pretty excited about because I love purple. That is a pretty awesome color. Not going to lie. Oompa Loompa. I don't know if you guys can even see these. Uh, fizzy lifting drink is the next one. That one's kind of powdery too. But it is like a metallic-y, I don't know. This next one is Veruca Salt. It again is um, probably a color we're not going to really see on my arm much because it is very close to my skin tone. This is Everlasting Gum Stopper. I like that one. Violet Beauregard. Now, this is another purple, but it's got like sparkles in it. It's really pretty. Then we got Wonka Bar. just a brown, a deep brown. And then, finally, we have Golden Ticket. I don't know. I don't know. That's I don't know. That gold is nice. I don't know if it's just the lighting, maybe? can't really see it. Anyways, now that you have a close-up of my wall that we are remodeling our bathroom, so it's kind of in disarray right now. I'm going to wipe off with a makeup wipe. Now, I feel like, I feel like I, I watch people swatch things with their finger, and then when I'm purchasing, when I buy them, um, and then I use a brush because I don't hardly ever use a fingertip application. Um, then when I use a brush, it doesn't pick up as well. So I'm going to swatch it with a brush so you can kind of get an idea. So I'm just going to start here. They did really good finger swatches. And who knows, maybe on the eye it'll be different. But this is what it looked like 
on the arm. Okay, can you see that? I don't know. That's kind of an awkward position. So, this is the color swatched with the brush in the order that they came off the palette. There's that top one. I don't know. So, I'm not writing the palette off, but I'm not impressed with how they swatch with the brushes. I, I'll, I'll use it a couple of times and I'll see if I love it. If not, it'll probably just be um, a piece on my shelf, unfortunately. Um, the colors are kind of crazy. I kind I knew that buying it though. Like I knew that you know like Snozzberries and um, Mike TV um, and Oompa Loompa were not going to be colors that I go to. Um, I do love purples and neutrals, and I dabbled in some pinks the other night. I mean I've always kind of dabbled with colors, but what I actually will wear is a lot different than what I'll just play with. Um, I don't know though. I'll give them a try. Maybe they'll apply better wet. That's something I could have tried. I guess I didn't think about it. Um, and again, I, I do like their formulas. I love their Briar Rose formula and it went on so nice. Um, I don't know if the formulas are different or what they changed. But again, they're a small company. And I mean, the price point wasn't bad. And they were really awesome about fixing the issues that we had with what they shipped me. But, anyways, thanks for watching. Bye!